You can create a targeting preset in Google Ad Manager by combining a set of commonly used ad targeting criteria. Anybody in your network can reuse these targeting presets and apply them during targeting when creating line items, proposal line items, and video ad rules. Let's go ahead and create a new targeting preset. Once sign in to Google Ad Manager, go to Inventory, then Targeting Presets. You can then create the preset by clicking on New Targeting Preset. Enter a name and set up the targeting criteria. As an example, we will target Spanish speaking countries. This way, whenever you or anyone in your network needs to target the same criteria for future campaigns, you will no longer need to spend time picking the targeted countries one by one. Instead, you can use this targeting preset. Once done, click Save. The targeting preset created may now be found and used by anybody in your network. To edit an existing targeting preset, Go to Inventory, then Targeting Presets. Click on the name of the targeting preset that you need to edit. Make your preferred changes. In this case, we'll add device targeting. And click Save to update the data. If you want to delete an existing targeting preset, still go to Inventory then Targeting Presets, and select the targeting preset that you want to remove, then click on the Delete button. You will then need to confirm the action by clicking on the Delete button again. When making changes, take note that updated targeting presets only affect future items that use that preset, not items that's previously used it. Deleted targeting presets are no longer going to be available for future use. Once deleted, you will no longer be able to recover it as the action is permanent and irreversible. Aside from creating targeting presets under the Inventory section, you can also create a new preset while working with line items, post line items, or video ad rules. Let's say that we're working on a line item. You can set up your preferred targeting criteria once done, you can click on Save as Preset above the Targeting Picker. Just give it a name and click Save. The Save Targeting Preset may now be found and used by anybody in your network. To apply a Targeting Preset above the Targeting Picker, type a name to find the preset. Click on it and the saved targeting criteria will apply. Once done with the rest of the configurations, click Save for the line item to save targeting and other settings. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to subscribe to our blog to learn to monetize more. Hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.